What's up, I'm Compton EMT. This video contains hitbox information from the Brawlhalla 1.5.3 build. I've taken a 60 FPS video and slowed it down for you so you can see the hitboxes as they come out. Additionally, we are only focusing on the initiating hitboxes as they are what matters to whether or not you actually land a hit, not the subsequent hits afterwards. So here we go. Every neutral attack is a multi-hit combo with a pseudo exception for the Katars as even though it's multi-hit, it's really just kind of one hit. Each move's damage can go down if you don't land every single hit, and additionally, weapons like the guns and the hammer have longer animations that make them extremely punishable. Because of this, they're actually awarded more damage than other neutral attacks. Ground tilts are a huge part of the combo system for this game. The light weapons, katars and swords, have more quick moves that focus more on closing in on your foe than they do force. The medium weapons, spear and guns, use this to separate your target from you to keep your range a priority using a little more force. The hammer hitbox protects the body, and the lance hitbox is, well, really worthless. Unarmed also has good force to knock someone away from a weapon so that you can pick it up. The ground down in most movesets is a setup move. They set you up for a possible yet not guaranteed follow-up move. Chaining these together with other moves or weapon throws is where a lot of the game's combos come from. The lance is a bit different though as its setup is a long stun. The exceptions that aren't setups are katars and guns. Katars are a quick hit and guns mainly focus on platform defense and though they do 56 damage if you get all three hits, the animation is so long that it's very punishable. The Nair, or Neutral Air, is all about defending yourself while also being on the offensive. The majority of these moves protect the hurt box by either creating a large zone around the hurt box or completely engulfing the character's hurt box. These moves are the bread and butter to safely wearing down your opponent before going for that final blow. That's why you see a lot of top tier players continually do those moves over and over again. The Tear, or Tilt Air, mainly contains force moves and is used for not only KOs, but for spacing out your opponent. Pretty much all tears are unique of each other. Swords get two swipes. Spears come out quick with distance. Guns zone an area, etc. Know these hitboxes well as I guarantee you will be seeing lots of tears as you play. Dares, or down airs, are good assault moves to keep your opponent down or to edge guard. Most of these moves can be done with a quick thumb roll on a controller from jump to light to get these moves out as quickly as possible. Some provide a lot of force while others have a long animation combo. The hammer specifically has the scoop and poop grapple. You can do a lot of damage and produce some KOs by using these in edge guard situations against wall huggers. Heavy attacks, including tilt heavies, are the most powerful moves you can do in the game. However, they don't come without their price. They all are very easy to counter and punish. The best time to use these is when you bait out a dodge, or a player is going for an item or weapon, or even after somebody else does their own heavy attack. The risk, though, is not without its reward if you connect. Seriously though, lay off the heavy button. It's not doing you any favors with how much most players push it. Down heavies also have a lot of force, but the ability to punish them is a large gap starting with the katars being harder to counter and ending with the sword's breakdance of death, which is extremely easy to counter. Another unique down heavy is the hammer's reach grapple that sends an opponent behind you. Once again, use these with caution as it won't help you to spam them. Ground pounds, or simply pounds, are high downward force moves. Be cautious though as your hurt box is extremely close to the edge of the hitbox on all of these moves. It's not unlikely to see an upwards attack beat out a pound, so definitely use with caution. The spear actually has the only non-basic hitbox as it has a wide and short hitbox that can clear edges pretty nicely. 
Lastly, we have what are termed recovery moves. There are many different types of recovery moves, but they all move your character a significant amount of distance to help you, well, recover. They are very powerful moves, but one interesting thing to note is that the gun's recover move is the only combo in the game that no matter if it connects at the start or not, it will actually complete all the way to its last move. It's very strong, but also very punishable. I hope you found this informative and are left with a feeling of wanting more. If you do want more, go ahead and comment in the section below to tell me what you want to see covered in this similar in-depth fashion. As always, subscribe and follow on the various social media outlets for all the latest on what I'm doing around the web. This has been Compton EMT, and I'd like to thank you for your time. Peace.